Hey everyone, it's Sir Ranch. I'm over here in China. It's a cold day in China. As you can tell, I'm wearing a t-shirt, a sweater, and then a polar fleece on top. It's six degrees here, which uh, a lot of you back home are going, what? Six degrees? That ain't nothing. It's for minus 36 right now, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's minus 36 where you are and you have insulation and central heating. We have concrete walls no insulation uh, and no heating <laughs> central or otherwise <coughs> so it's chilly the fingers are uh, suffering a bit but that's okay I figured I'd make a quick video here about uh, my one of my latest toys uh, this is a review video to do with this guy I'm gonna hold it up here so you can kind of see it it's upside down here it's annoying when the light is on. I know it shines right in the camera like that. This is called a USB Guitar Link. I bought this on the Chinese version of eBay called Taobao. Uh, basically what I've been looking for is a way to plug this guy, uh, my Risa Uke stick, into my computer and either record or at very least be able to have fun playing with uh, a program called Guitar Rig. Uh, which is a lot of fun lots of effects and different cabinets and different things you can do with it it's actually really quite cool but without this if you're plugging your electric ukulele or guitar directly into your computer via the microphone or line in slot there's two problems one is there may not be enough amplification uh, in the past i've gotten around that by plugging my ukulele into an effects pedal or uh, a speaker and then out from there into the computer in order to get enough uh, power to be able to hear it to get to give it some volume and of course the second bigger problem is the latency and latency is essentially the time between when you hit the string and you hear it coming out of the speakers and it can be very very annoying using the line in or the uh, record the the microphone in um, the latency is horrible. So you literally will hit the string and wait, I don't know, half a second, a second, two seconds for the twang to come out of the speakers. And that may not seem like a lot, but when you're actually trying to play a song, it's enormous. It is, it's impossible. It's really kept me from using toys like uh, Guitar Rig for, for my computer for these types of things. So I figured there had to be a way. So I looked and I found this guy. I'm going to cover the blue light so it doesn't blind everybody. All right. Now what this is, is this just plugs straight into the old computer via USB from this cable right here. And then it has a cable, you see it has two slots here. One is for your instrument and the other is for headphones. I haven't actually tried that yet, but theoretically you can play this just by plugging in headphones too. Uh, then you don't really need speakers, I guess, do you? I uh, will play with more with that. On the back, um, it just says USB guitar link. Uh, it says SN where there would be a serial number, but there is not. And um, other than that, it says made in China, ROC, blah, blah, blah. There's no manufacturer on this because this is an OEM. Um, that's one of the nice things about living in China. You can order these things uh, without, without a manufacturer <coughs> or company's name on them. And therefore, you save all that money. So basically, I paid 10 bucks for this. And it works like a hot dam. I've been able to get it all working with Guitar Rig. It actually comes with a copy of Guitar Rig on CD. Technically, from what I've read about it online, this is a Behringer board inside here. I have not cracked it open to take a look. But, uh, I mean, Behringer is pretty, pretty big name in the music industry. So, uh, can't imagine that would be not good. But anyway, yeah, so basically you plug this in. I have Windows 8.1. Didn't require any drivers. Just plugged it in. Um, and it takes over the sound card, away it goes. You plug in your instrument, you start up your guitar rig, and plug in to rock and roll. So let's see, this is of course with nothing plugged in. Let's start up guitar rig. And I'll just give you a little sample. Uh, I will choose the styles category for preset attributes and show you some of my... my so so we show you some of the... Uh, abilities that the humble ukulele can have for example in rock and surf here in the surfing preset my electric ukulele now sounds like this <laughs> So 
let's uh, rock and surf if I go up to, oh, here's a good one, metal. Let's try uh, pull my theater. I have never tried this one before. Oh, I can hear it already. Don't like it. Let's get something more rock and roll. <laughs> That's nice. Let's try something in jazz. Ooh, I like that too. Here's some Pat 70s chorus. As you'd expect in the jazz ones, that's pretty, uh, pretty clean. Not too much distortion. Uh, let's try Funk and Soul. I like this uh, stoned rhythm one here. This one sounds pretty good. Just a little bit of uh, phaser in there, not a lot. Here's rotating. Oh, I like that. Makes me feel religious. What else we got here? Let's go to classic rock. Um, Pete won't explain. Haven't tried this before. Let's see. Alright, so that's not bad. A little bit of gain in there, some distortion. Uh, alternative, of course, is all going to be loud. I can't imagine it wouldn't be. This is Black Strike Army. <laughs> Kurt in Bloom, let's see what that is. That's not bad. Now my absolute favorite category is ambient. Uh, let's try out Warm Universe, I love this a lot. More for soloing, but... Uh, Another one I like is uh, Spinning in Space, very mellow. Anyway, you get the idea. You whip out the guitar rig. You whip out the electric uke, the Risa uke stick here. And this little $10 jobby, not sure how much they'd be back home, but uh, I paid 10 bucks for mine. Yeah, 10 bucks, 12 bucks including delivery. Not too damn shabby. This is a USB guitar link. However, I'm calling it a USB ukulele link because it does the same thing. And yeah. Rock out, people.